Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom member area and then avoid loyalty points to users if they verify a phone number. Now, before we begin, you need to have the Wix loyalty program app and the Wix stores app installed on your website in order to use this app. If you don't have the Wix stores app, you need to have some sort of app like the Wix uh, pricing plan, which uh, users can use in conjunction to the loyalty program. So once you have installed the Wix loyalty program app and let's say Wix stores on your website, we're going to create a custom registration module. Uh, you can also go with the normal registration flow if you wish, uh, which is the DIY uh, built-in registration flow that Wix offers. But uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to show you how you can build a custom registration form for your website. So basically, we have four input elements over here and we're collecting the user's first name, last name, email and password. After that, we have a button which we will use to register the user onto the site. Now, to create an event handler for the button, you pull up the code panel and then on the right hand side under event handlers, you click on on click. So if this is not already there, you click on this and press enter or you just click on it and press enter like this, which will create the event handler. I've already created this and under this, we are actually checking the validity of the input elements. So F name name email and PWD so if all of these text elements are valid we are going to continue with the registration if some text elements or one of the text elements are not valid you must handle the error I'm not going to show you how you can handle errors in this video uh, perhaps in another video in the future but if all the input elements are valid well, first of all, we'll disable the registration button so that users don't end up clicking on it multiple times. And then we'll send the email password and the name of the user to a function called registered, which is on the backend. Backend mem-reg.jsw. Now, make sure that this file, which uh, the front end calls the function from must be a JSW file and not a JS file because JS files cannot be called from the front end. So, as you can see on the back end MEM REG file, you have a register function which we are calling from the front end. And basically, this is using the new Wix members back end APIs authentication function to register the user using their email address, password and the first name and last name. If there are any errors, the API, the function will return an error object uh, which you must handle yourself. Otherwise, it's going to return a registration result. The registration result contains a session token which you will use on the front end to log in the user to the website. This we do by using the front end Wix members module, uh, modules uh, authentication function so authentication dot apply session token and res dot session token is the session token inside the object that is returned from the backend's registration function once the user is logged in i want to redirect them to this member only page which contains the input elements or the functions where the user can verify their phone numbers and earn 50 loyalty points from so basically on this page, we are doing the same thing. This is the first batch over here. This is the first input element that you must concentrate on. We ask the user for the country code. Uh, better to enter, uh, put all the country codes in a drop down and let the user select one of them and his or her phone number. And then after clicking on verify, the function checks if both the input elements are valid and then it calls the verify function from the backend twilio.jsw file. So as I said in the beginning of this video, we are going to use Twilio's SMS verification function in order to verify phone numbers. So first of all, 
in order to activate Twilio on your website, uh, you must go under packages and app over here and then beside npm you click this plus more plus icon and then click on install npm package once this window opens up you must type in twilio and click on install over here now i've already installed it so uh, that's done but if you have not installed it on your website this install button will appear and just click on install which should show this Twilio package available over here. After you've done that, you can basically copy paste this code and I'm just gonna explain what this is. So under your uh, constant uh, account SID, this is your Twilio's account SID. So you must go on Twilio, create developer account for yourself. And then under, um, account on the top right side under the section keys and credentials api keys and tokens you'll find your account sid and auth token which is the lines one and two over here now um, auth token and sid you must use the live version otherwise even during test uh, your sms's are not going to work and the api is going to return that this service is not available using test credentials so Third point, we actually installed the Twilio uh, module on this page. And then from line 11, you will see the verify function. So basically, we are telling Twilio to send a verification code to this phone number, which we will uh, use to verify the user in just a few seconds later. And uh, under this, uh, services uh, between these two brackets uh, you will see vax so basically on uh, in twilio you must uh, go under uh, on the left hand side let me just show this to you so this is your twilio dashboard on the left hand side develop you must click on verify and then services if you don't have a service set up, you must click on create new service and then copy the service SID, which you can see over here and enter that service SID between the brackets for both the functions. So the first function is telling Twilio to send an SMS with a code for verification. And the second function actually verifies the phone number against the code that it had it has received from Twilio for this particular SID service ID, um, and then in the end, if the verification is successful, uh, we will go ahead and award the loyalty points using Wix's new Wix loyalty version two API. So basically, we, uh, you can award as many points as you want. I'm just putting in a, a constant point of 50 and then a description of phone number verification. Uh, also, very important according to Wix documentation that you must give an app ID and an EDEM potency key. So basically, you can just generate a random string of numbers for the EDEM potency key. But for the app ID, uh, I think you can also send any random uh, string as well but i would suggest you to use the uh, wix uh, default app id which they have written in their documentation and uh, yeah so that's it that's it for twilio and another thing i did not explain in this video but the code is there uh, is that whenever a new uh, account sorry a new uh, site member registers you must create their loyalty account in order to do that, under events.js file, just create an events.js file if you don't have any. Under Wix CRM on contact created event, uh, what I do is I take the contact ID of the person who has just uh, registered on the site and I query it against the members private member data collection. Now, if there is no uh, object in the private member data which it means that the site contact was created but this person or this uh, entity does not uh, have a account which means it's not a registered user 
in that case it won't create the loyalty account but if there is an account uh, if uh, if there is a registered user it will create the loyalty account using this function and then after that we save the loyalty id contact id and member id for later use under a database called users so this database which you have to create on your own is in the my collections and creates three fields loyalty id contact id and member id so basically uh, i'm saving the loyalty id contact id and member id so later on when twilio verifies the phone number i can retrieve the user so loyalty id based on the member id which i retrieve from the front end i send it along with the uh, call uh, to verify the code and then based on the data retrieved from the database uh, i know their loyalty id which is required to update their points and also very important that you must use wix auth as i've learned to elevate this uh, accounts uh, this function from wix loyalty version 2 which is accounts dot earn points if you do not use this elevate function your uh, points will not be awarded all right so let's go ahead and create an account I'm just using a random email register And once it has registered, I'm redirected to this members only page where I select my phone number and I'm actually entering my real number and I click on verify. And you cannot see it on the screen, but I just received a verification code uh, and it reads your Veronica verification code is 190866. Uh, why Veronica? Because I named the service Veronica. So if, for example, if you have a business which says uh, company name XYZ, you can name your service name company name XYZ. In that case, the SMS will read your company name verification code is blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so this is the verification code that I received in my SMS and let's click on verify. So once you have verified your phone number, this is basically what you're going to see. Now you'll see uh, it's 100 points. So I also have a automation under the loyalty program app, which gives the users 50 points to sign up to the site. So 50 is from the sign up and the other 50 is from verifying their phone number. Also, you might have noticed a little pause in this video in the end. Uh, that's because, uh, okay, First things first, the current loyalty version 2 uh, API of Wix is under developer preview. So basically Wix says do not use this for production purposes because this API is not completely released. So uh, there were a few bugs. Uh, so basically what we had we have to do now is basically instead of the Wix CRM on contact created uh, function we have to use the Wix loyalty on account created function and uh, so that means we don't need to use the Wix loyalty API to create their accounts we just need to use it to abort the accounts so that's a cool change that you will see and I'll have this code up uh, on the website link is in the description and go ahead and use it as you would like and let me know what you would like to see next